Welcome to Blue Marble Geographics Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague Jeff Hatzel. Jeff is a product manager here at the company, and he will be talking to us today about how to create a map in Global Mapper Mobile Pro. All right, Jeff, show us what you've got. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for having me back on Ask the Experts. Today, we're going to take a look at a workflow available only on Global Mapper Mobile Pro. While it's not the most flashy of workflows, I find it to be incredibly useful. Uh, we very often hear from users who have purchased the app when they're out in the field doing field work, or maybe their company has you know, sent them the receipt for their order when they're out in the field already, and they need to get started with the app. So what we're going to do is look at getting set up with Global Mapper Mobile Pro while out in the field and recording data without starting in Global Mapper Desktop. Jeff, is it a common workflow to start without having any data loaded? Uh, I wouldn't say it's common, but um, it's certainly something that we hear about. You know, very often uh, our users will start on the desktop side of things, but it's certainly you know where you're you're sending the app to a variety of devices or users in the field that um, it, it it is useful to be able to do this. I think. And so I'm working on an Android device today, and the first thing I'll do uh, is download the app from the Google Play Store. It is available on iOS as well. Once the app's installed, we can open it and then click through here just a few intro prompts. Um, I do recommend the Getting Started Guide for anyone who's new to the app, uh, but we can skip that for now. So once loaded, uh, you'll have the base or the free version of the application installed. What we're going to do is use the order number that we receive when we purchase uh, Global Mapper Mobile Pro from Blue Marble, and that'll allow us to activate Pro right in the app here. So choosing Purchase Pro Module from the home screen, I'll then log in with my Blue Marble account information. Once that succeeds, I'll get a little alert, and then I can enter my order number. So this is uh, six numbers followed by eight alphanumeric characters that you'll see on your email receipt. Jeff, how does the app communicate with Blue Marble to allow the user to register? Great question. So this is one of the few steps that will require some kind of network or Wi-Fi connection. Uh, other than that, once it's registered, the app can function fully without uh, any sort of cellular or data connection. Uh, exceptions to that being downloading online data, which we're actually going to do shortly here, um, and some of the search tools that use a web service. Otherwise, it can it can function totally offline, which is which is handy when we're you know far out in the field. So after registering, you'll see that on the home screen, the app will now say Pro, and this means we're ready to get started. So as I was saying earlier, uh, a traditional workflow would be to maybe open a map that you made in Global Mapper Desktop that was then sent to your device. But you know our workflows aren't always um, that direct, and sometimes we need a little bit of flexibility on, on how we're going to start working. So what a pro user can do is connect to an online source um, right from the start, and then work with that data before saving and exporting it. So for example, uh, what I'll do now is I'll connect to the NAEP imagery source. So that's an imagery source in the US. And when this loads here, um, I'm going to zoom in a bit to the Northeast US, closer to where I am, just as a reference. I can now enable GPS, and we'll see my location reported here on the map. I have access to all the digitizing functionality. So let's go ahead and I'll, I'll make a sample point at my GPS location that will now be added to my map. If I wanted, I could go ahead and use any of the functionality in the toolbox as well. Um, so this gives me the full ability to work with all the apps functionality, um, starting directly in the app rather than starting on desktop. So once done, I can save my map uh, and then export it out of the application. So we'll save this here, and then maybe I'll choose to upload it to a, a file location on, on my device that I can also access uh, back in the office. So Rachel, this is just really a quick and easy way to get started with the app uh, when you need to out in the field. Um, it is worth noting, I think, that if you're starting on Global Mapper Desktop, then you have the ability to build you know, a more complex map, sending specific data and you know, feature templates and things like that. Um, so that's definitely worth looking into as well. Jeff, thank you so much for showing us Global Mapper Mobile Pro and what it's capable of doing. 
If you'd like to learn more about Global Mapper Mobile or Global Mapper Mobile Pro, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for Ask the Experts, and I hope that you'll join us for our next episode.